Hi everybody, Hi. my name is Ryan and this is Mateo and we are going to carve a jack-o'-lantern for you this evening. Um, there's not one right way to do it or wrong way, we're just going to do it the way we do it and uh, you can try it this way or, or any other way. Uh, just want to walk you through the steps and, uh, and let you know how we carve our jack-o'-lantern. So first of all, we sketched out a little drawing on a piece of paper of what we wanted the face to look like. And then we drew it on the, uh, the actual pumpkin. We picked the right side. A little scary here. Um, and, uh, and now I think we're ready to start carving away. We have some, some fancy specialized tools um, but really, they're not super fancy, they're just kid-friendly. So, uh, originally I think we just used big kitchen knives when I grew up doing it, but uh, we're not going to be using big kitchen knives today. Sorry, Teo. Um, so anyway, we have these tools, they all do little different things. He's got three, I've got three, and um, we're just going to start hacking away here. And uh, we'll do it on time-lapse so it's a little quicker for everyone to see. And uh, hopefully we don't cut off any of our fingers? Or teeth. Or but teeth. Well, or his teeth, right. Okay. So now we've cut out the top, and now I'm gonna scoop out the inside. And one of the things you get from the inside of a pumpkin. Pumpkin seeds. Are the them. pumpkin seeds, which are delicious when you rinse them off and put them in the oven. The little butter, um, salt, some people do soy sauce, some people do uh, different uh, type of sauces or, or spices, but just toast them up and they're a really tasty, fun snack to have. In a toaster oven. In a toaster oven, in a regular oven, any kind of oven you want. Uh, but Mr. Mateo here is scooping out Mister. all the guts and the yummy seeds from Mr. Pumpkinhead right now. So that's what's happening. Okay, so we've done the, the hard work of uh, cutting a hole in the top. Uh, it can be circle, it can be any shape you want. We just decided to do triangle because we like triangles. And it fits a lot. And it fits a lot, yeah. Uh, anyway, and then we scooped out everything on the inside uh, because, yeah, that's the first step. So we got that all out and now we're gonna get started on the fun part which is face, face, face carving. the face carving. All right. carving the pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern, and now we're gonna put, the final step is putting a candle inside and putting the lid on, and we'll let it go. And then put the lid on and bring it outside when it's dark. Yep. And uh, I think the easiest way to do it, because you usually use a, a small candle, is to light the candle outside, because otherwise, if it's a small pumpkin, it's hard to get your hand in to light it. Use tongs. So we use uh, kitchen tongs. We'll yep. Them. So we'll light the candle first. And then take the tongs, pinch carefully. Very carefully. Very carefully. And then let that down. Okay. Mateo, can you uh, turn off the light there? Look at this. Put on the lid. <gasps> Scary stuff. 
So normally, yes, you don't have uh, jack-o'-lanterns in the house. We'll put it on the front porch to scare away all of the bad spirits and to welcome in a Halloween this year. So there it is, everybody. Happy Halloween. Happy Be Halloween. safe. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.